Last week, two prominent figures from the Caribbean island of Dominica, Emmanuel Nanthan and Alec Lawrence, both former government officials, found themselves unceremoniously bundled onto a return flight. Detained at Heathrow Airport and deported back to Dominica, their interception by British authorities has sent shockwaves through the small island nation and raised questions about the UK's increasingly robust stance on financial crime. Reportedly en route to a Commonwealth meeting, the reasons for their deportation remain shrouded in a degree of official secrecy, but sources suggest it pertains to allegations of money laundering. This episode serves as a stark reminder that the UK is no longer a safe haven for those suspected of financial impropriety, regardless of their status or political connections. Emmanuel Nanthan, who served as a senator and a key figure in the Dominica Labour Party, held significant influence within the government. Alec Lawrence, also a prominent politician, served as Dominica's ambassador to the US. Both men have been embroiled in controversy, accused of facilitating a scheme involving the sale of Dominican diplomatic passports. This scheme, critics allege, allowed wealthy foreigners to skirt international sanctions and potentially funnel illicit funds. The allegations have dogged Nanthan and Lawrence for years, culminating in their dramatic deportation from the UK. Their case underscores the UK's hardline approach to financial crime, marking the UK as a global leader in efforts to combat money laundering, with authorities increasingly willing to take decisive action against those suspected of involvement. The UK, and London in particular, has long been a vulnerable point for money laundering. Vast sums of money, often of dubious origin, flow through the capital's property market and financial institutions. This vulnerability has drawn criticism from international organizations and spurred the UK government to take action. In recent years, the UK has introduced a raft of legislation and regulatory measures designed to crack down on money laundering. These include the Unexplained Wealth Order, UWO, a powerful tool that allows authorities to seize assets if individuals cannot explain the source of their wealth. The UK is also working closely with its European partners to strengthen anti-money laundering efforts across the continent. The EU has implemented its own set of directives aimed at harmonizing anti-money laundering regulations and enhancing cooperation between member states. Section 4. The Wider War on Dirty Money The deportation of Nanthan and Lawrence is not an isolated incident. It forms part of a broader global crackdown on money laundering and financial crime. Governments around the world are increasingly recognizing the corrosive impact of dirty money on their economies and societies. The Financial Action Task Force, or FATF, an intergovernmental organization that sets global standards for anti-money laundering, has played a key role in this effort. The FATF has issued recommendations that countries are expected to implement, covering areas such as customer due diligence, suspicious transaction reporting, and international cooperation. The fight against money laundering is also increasingly being linked to efforts to combat terrorism financing. The two are often intertwined, with terrorist groups relying on illicit funds to carry out their operations. Section 5, Exile and its Aftershocks. The deportation of Nanthan and Lawrence is likely to have significant repercussions for both men. They now face an uncertain future in Dominica, where they may be subject to further legal scrutiny and potential prosecution. The incident has also dealt a blow to their reputations and political careers. The deportation also sends a clear message to other politically exposed persons or PEPs from around the world. PEPs, who are individuals entrusted with prominent public functions, are often seen as being at higher risk of involvement in corruption and money laundering. The UK's actions serve as a warning that no one is above the law and that even high-ranking officials are not immune from scrutiny. The case of Nanthan and Lawrence highlights the growing reach and effectiveness of international anti-money laundering efforts.